In this tutorial of the Word Bible software, we will be examining the verse list of the Word Bible software. So go ahead and open up the Word Bible software on your computer there. And look in here. We will see. Uh, I'm just going to start out using the Net Bible. We're going to be looking at the verse list, but we got to need a little bit of content. So we're going to select Angel of the Lord. I'm going to find the Angel of the Lord in the Net 2. And there's several um, different verses that hold these verse these reference this phrase I'm going to select all and I'm going to add all to selected verses to list so they've been added into our list here now this particular list has some mm, pre-existing content let's go ahead and clear it out so we're going to erase the first list and I'm going to do this again that's added add all selected verses to the list. Now note, we have the Net 2 Bible here as the one going on. We're going to go through just a few small things. So up here we see the, what it will show us if you let it hover a little bit. The contents click to see all verse lists you have create. We just have that one there. And we can also go down to add a a verse reference. Let's go back here. Let's go to list 1. No, let's go to list here, and we're going to check these out. Make sure we got the same verse lists. And just to be on the safe side, we're going to go ahead and clear them again. I'm going to add them again, and now we have them all there again. Okay, so we see we can go into the different verse lists you have. You can add a verse to the list. So let's add John 3.16, for example, here. Press enter. We have now added John 3.16. Continuing down new verse list, if you want to do another one, you can save the verse list. So I, I have this under list 1. Let's go ahead and save it. Continuing down further, we have a rename verse list. Maybe we don't like list 1. Let's call it Angel of the Lord. Okay, very good. Continuing on, we could erase that one. We've already seen that. We could also copy the verse list if you want to keep continuing to work with it. Maybe you want different columns. Maybe three different columns here. Maybe one different column. I prefer one column just to kind of be able to go down through it. So continuing on, we can zoom in here and look at our verse list a little bigger. Note, if you do it this way... Um, with like the net you can be able to click on some verses and things like that by the way if you click up here you'll jump back to a regular bible go back over here you can go back into your list again you can make it smaller you can print the verse list if you so choose and you can finally enter grab mode which kind of allows you to um, let's grab that and then you can go up and down here like this by dragging so let's turn that off i, I prefer the the wheel there. Now, uh, this, there's a few more features that are very interesting in here. Right click a verse and you have view Bible text. Now let's go ABP. So you can jump to that verse in another um, Bible. Let's go re return, uh, move. If you want to move it down, it'll jump down in the list. You can move it back up and go again. Set passage until. So you could go from Matthew 120 let's you to 121. So now we have that selection. Okay, very good. Offset passage. Let's offset one toward the beginning. So now we go back one verse. That's if you would like to let's return this, this return. Um look at context surrounding the verse. Continuing on, you can delete, change translation. This is a feature I like to use here. And now, let's, let's actually go to a little bit different translation so it's a little easier. So now, it's in the Byzantine 2005 plus plus version. You can do that for this verse. You can sort the list, sort canically. And that's kind of already done. Let's continue back. Uh, change translations for all verses. Maybe, hey, maybe you want to jump over here. And, and you're like, oh, okay, I want to check it out now. This way, so all the angel of the Lord. Let's let's remove this one here. Uh, set passage until one, and go back to this twenty. And now, now we're gonna go over here. Um, restore. I believe we have oh, all these. That's kind of interesting. Let's return this to. Um, let's go view Bible text net again. 
So we have angel of the Lord here. And if you know your, your Greek or your Hebrew, we have angel. Angelas Curio. So we can get into that a little bit here. And we have that listed shown as well. Go down to verse uh, 124. And here we have, again, the angel of the Lord. Very good. I mean, it has a definite article. Going down to 213, we have Angelas Curio. So it doesn't have the article. Going down to 219, we have again here Angelas Curio. So once again, no article. And you can kind of go down and you could work on these different things. You could even copy it over and say, hey, I just want to look up the ones now that just have this phrase. So let's select that. And you can copy selection and go over here. Go to your Byzantine, paste it, and here we go. Now let's see what we got. We got now we have these ones like this. And you can get into more and more and more. So let's return to the list. Maybe you don't use Greek as much, so you're going to change translation for all the verses. Change it back to net too. Yep, we do. And here we go. So it's interesting here. They use an angel of the Lord, um, kind of as a using the indefinite article there, perhaps. Oh, let's double check that. What was it again? Mm, uh, let's see. Uh, maybe part of the reason was right here doesn't have the definite article, and so they, they put it, just translate it that way. Let's return it to there. Now, this gives you lots of possibilities. So maybe you've done an angel of the Lord one. Now maybe you want to go, oh, you kind of got studying here a little bit, and you're like, maybe what about angel and angel of the Lord? So let's go to copy, selection, go out here to the net, and paste it in and search again and so now we have an angel of the lord and and we have some extras there it looks like a little bit but let's get a little precise remembering some of our searching from before and now we have an angel of the lord let's copy let's go into list let's make a new list nope let's not do that one let's go down here to add verse no no create new verse list and we want to save it, and we're going to go in here, select all, and let's paste from this to the there. Okay, now these ones should be the only an angel of the Lord. And you could get into you now. Okay, so mm, let's see. So in Matthew, an angel of the Lord, does the Byzantine have it? So let's, let's make this a little bit easier on us. Um, let's add another Matthew. 120 and and let's move this one i'm going to change translation sort list let's see sort list let's move it to the top so now we should have two of them now i would like to compare it so i'm going to go in here and go to byzantine and do it this way um actually whoops i didn't want to do all of them but a net do this way so you could even use this a little bit like the compare window let's just do change this so we have Angelas Curio again, and we have an angel of the Lord. So you can do a little, a lot here. Now remember, there is a compare window, which we haven't really got into yet. And we'll have to get into that one down the road. So this verse list lets you group together verses maybe based on your theme. Maybe it lets you get into some different areas of study. Uh, it's really nice to be able to jump back and forth between versions. And maybe you're just like, ah, oh, you know what? I, I want to see what the ESV is or the KJV or something in this. Oh, okay, yeah, you get into that and you can do all kinds of things. So um, do check out verse list and, and try to see where you can go with this tool. It's very helpful and hopefully this tutorial has been helpful to you uh, as we look through the verse list tool of the Word Bible software.